Video starts with a background in shades of gray. Hi everyone, it's Anita from Sightless Living. Today I am going to make collard greens. In red text, Sightless Living. All rights reserved. Okay, so now we're on to the greens. I have some collard greens here, which I have washed and have them draining in this bowl. And I got them in the bag, they're already chopped. Sometimes you can get them in a bag in their triple wash. I still wash them anyway. I wash everything. Whether I get them fresh and they have mud on them or I get them already triple wash, I still wash everything. And I give it a triple wash myself. So they're draining. I have celery, garlic, onions, and smoked meat in the form of bacon here. And you can use any kind of smoked meat. I like to use this so I can get salt in it because I don't cook with salt in my food. So I like to use other ingredients to salt it. And I wash my bacon. So I kind of wash most of the salt off because I don't really eat a bunch of salt. And this is pork and we don't really eat pork. So we are just seasoning it with the smoked meat and that's a hickory smoke. And I'm gonna get this over to the pot. I have a heavy bottom cast iron pot over on the stove heating up. So I'll throw this smoked meat in there and it should start sizzling. So here we go, I'll see you at the stove. Okay, here we are at the pot and I'm gonna throw in the smoked meat, which is bacon. It should start sizzling. And this is only two strips, because like I said, I don't really eat a bunch of pork. But people like it, so that's how I season it. Mm, it smells good. Sometimes I don't season the greens and they taste very bland. And sometimes I shred carrots to throw in there. So it changes the flavor. But I cook greens all kinds of ways. So I got everything out and I'll just let that brown some before I start putting the other ingredients in. I'll grab my spoon and start stirring it around and I'll be back. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss another video. Okay, so I got a fresh pair of disposable food grade gloves here. I go through a lot of these. I get them from Amazon. And I just got some bacon in here with a little EVOO. And I like it to get stiff and brown and make sure it's cooked before I put my other ingredients in there. It's gonna get soft anyway. I just like to season the oil. And I'll put my next thing in. And I just give them a rustic cut. Throw some garlic and celery in there. Now I'll just wait till these get translucent. And once they do that, I will add my chicken stock, which is plain. You can get some that has salt. You can get it plain. You can get it with vegetables. I like to put my own in there. Oh, it smells good. So I'll just let that simmer down. This is a Lucrece pot. I've had it for 30 years. It's still growing strong. It's cooked many a meal. When I first went blind, I had trouble putting the top on. It actually took me 15 to 20 minutes to line the top up. And then I have some of these that are oval. And now I can just pop them on in the flash. I'll just put the top on. 
So it takes practice and time to get used to things. You're not supposed to bang on the side of the pot, so I bang on the, the insides so you can crack your enamel. Let's turn it down a bit and I'll just let it get translucent. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so this reduced nicely. They feel like they've translucent and gotten smaller. So now this is the point where I will add my stock. I'll take my pot here. And I get in the pot and then I start pouring so I don't spill it. I'm just stirring it around, incorporating the oil and the onions and garlic and everything else that reduced. So while this was simmering and reducing, I went and got some seasonings and have them in this bowl here. And this is a little garlic powder, onion powder, thyme. I'm gonna pour it into my liquid here, which is about three to four cups. It's a little shy on the four cup side because I spilled some of it pouring, which happens. Even sighted people have those blunders. So I poured the seasonings in there. And then I'm going to raise the heat up a little bit and get this liquid bubbling so I can put the greens in. And then I'll let them simmer until the leaves get soft. Collards take a little longer because they're a thicker leaf thicker stems, but I like them, they're healthy, they're good for you. Put the top back on, raise the heat up a little, and when they get bubbling, I will put the leaves in. Okay, I'll take this off, oh it's bubbling nicely. Let me just turn this down some. Let me put my gloves on, another pair of kitchen gloves here since I'm gonna handle the greens with my fingers. My hands are clean anyway, but I just like to handle food with my gloves. These are the disposable ones, they come in the box. I don't know, maybe a thousand come in the box, don't know. Take the top off, put it over here. I like to make a lot of noise. Okay, I'll stir that up. So as you probably see or notice, the onions, garlic, everything is cooked down to nothing, but the liquid smells good. So I'm going to feed in the greens, the washed greens with my hands. I'll make sure I'm fine in the edge of the pot. Putting them in there one handful at a time. Make sure I don't drop them all over the place. And as I put them in there, I'm not putting them in the same spots. I'm trying to spread them around because then I'm going to try to fold them into the water. And as a matter of fact, since I have enough in there right now, I'll try to turn them to fold them in. So I have a slotted spoon here. And I just take from the outside and bring them towards the center. So I'm wetting them with the hot liquid. It's chicken stock, not water. And this is the plain kind, no salt, no ingredients. Okay, so those kind of wilted real fast. Get another batch and keep doing that until I've put the whole colander of washed greens into the stock. And then I'll just let them boil until the leaves get tender. 
probably about 20 minutes before I check them and see. So I'm going to put my lid back on the pot. Oh, I got it quick. Like I said, when I first became blind, it was difficult to put the tops on. I was like over here and over there and over here. And now I just put my finger on the edge, bump my finger with the lid, and just sit it on there. So you'll come up with tips and tricks for your own kitchen. Tasks such as putting lids on pots and pouring liquids is something you don't think about when fully sighted. Okay, I'm back, got my tongue, got my little tester bowl. Oh yeah, they, they feel like they're good. Okay, I think these are done. Put a little in the bowl here. These are done. Okay, gang, it's ready. Aww. An item of sightless living is wearing a long sleeve sweater in shades of blues and lime green, light blue sunglasses, short drop silver earrings, clear lip gloss, light bluish gray stretchy headband, and her hair in a ponytail. Be sure to watch the accompanying videos to complete this meal. See now changes to a background in shades of gray. Rolling credits appear in red colored text scrolling upward from the bottom of the screen. Text reads, Anita, hostess slash visionary, mountaineer videography, TM symbol, videographer slash editor, the rest of the text may be read in the description box below. Thanks for watching.